G'day. Welcome to the video on how to polish the RM Williams ADF Parade Boot. In this video, I will demonstrate procedure and technique on how to properly care for and polish your parade boot. I have seen many personnel conduct a basic polish routine on these boots. However, I will detail a much better method that will not only care and nurture your boots, but will also produce a very high shine. First, we will start with basic requirements and the preliminaries before moving through the steps of shine and finally conclude with a few slides to highlight the care and storage of these boots. So first we'll start with our actual requirements that we need to apply a high shine and care for our boots. First we have a leather conditioner, uh, it's probably the most important uh, product here that you need to care for your boots. Polishing cloth that we need to apply for on and also will help us to get it off in a buff. Um, a brush, an on side, so we use the smaller side for on and the larger side for off. So when I refer to on and off, that's what I'm talking about. Also, polish cream and also um, a variety of polish waxes, which are solid and we'll go through on how to use those. A toothbrush cleaning the welt, a horsehair brush that's very important for producing a high buff shine and obviously the last thing that we can use to help us achieve a, a shine, a nice buff, is a piece of stocking, an old shear stocking. Right, so we'll move on now with the preliminaries. So the first thing we're going to do is the preliminaries before we actually start cleaning our boot. Uh, we want to prepare our workstation, so what I've done is I've placed this old towel down on the table that I'm using. It's, it's important to prepare your space like that because um, the polish and cream does tend to fly everywhere after you finish brushing it. So make sure that you capture the mess and it doesn't transfer on, onto any of your other uniforms or garments that you may have in the vicinity. So we're going to first take the boot and make sure it's uh, clean, there's no um, CC, what I mean by that is any crap or corruption on it. Uh, to do that we can use a damp cloth and get in there and move anything off it. Or conversely, just using our off brush, just to give it a nice polish or buff to make sure that we're getting rid of anything. So we apply attention to the actual surface of the boot all the way around it and also in the welts themselves. So we do that for the whole thing. Make sure it's all clean, everything's off. Uh, it's also a good idea to do that if you've just got them fresh out of the box. Uh, they're a brand new pair, just give them a, a quick clean like that as well so you can pair them for the next stage. Okay, we'll go on with step one. Right, so moving on to step one. Uh, this is an important part, very important part for these boots. Uh, and, and a lot of people don't even do this. A lot of, a lot of people are, I've seen their polishing regime is to simply grab some wax polish, a brush, place it on and then buff it off. Okay, the, what they're missing there is they're missing applying and putting nutrients into your boots to keep them supple. Uh, the wax polish tends to just dry your boot out and it'll, it's essentially killing your boot. So this step here is, is applying a leather conditioner and applies nutrients to your boot, it keeps it supple and it, it keeps it uh, the longevity of the boot. You, so you'll have these boots uh, for the entire length of your, your service life and they'll still remain um, a quality boot. So we're gonna grab our leather conditioner and a cloth, polishing cloth. Supply a small amount and then work the polish into the entire boot. And this is simply that process will complete uh, for both boots. I'm it all in. And then once we've finished that, I always like to let the boots sit for a minimum of, of 10 minutes. Because um, what you want to do is actually want the condition to actually draw into the leather and do its job rather than just buffing it off. So 10 minutes is a minimum. Uh, look, leave it in there if you can for at least 24 hours after that as well, just to really uh, get the benefit of it, but as a minimum 10 minutes. So after we've finished that, 
we've let it dry then we'll just buff it off uh, with our off brush or with a clean part of the polishing cloth and then when, once we've done that we can move on to step two okay we've finished applying the leather conditioner we've let it sit uh, and now we're going to buff it off so we can either buff, buff it off with the off part of the brush or with um, a cloth a clean part of the cloth we'll use both Right, once we've gone through and done that, then move on to stage two, which is cleaning of the welts. Okay, on to step two now. So step two, we're actually gonna clean in all the welts and the actual side of the boot as well. Uh, to do that, we're just gonna use a toothbrush and a wax polish. You can use a cream, but in this instance, we're gonna use a wax polish. So it's simply a matter of dabbing some onto the toothbrush itself and then working it into the welts and the actual side of the welts as well. Uh, especially around the toe, it seems to um, pick up a lot of um, dirt when you're walking around. And also the welts themselves, sure enough, if you let them sit for a day or so, just out in the open, the welts are gonna gather dust. So that doesn't help you out on a room inspection. So make sure you get in and clean the welts with the brush there and we'll buff them off at a later stage when we head up to the buff area essentially that's how we get into clean the welt and do all the way around the toothbrush is good because it gets into the the instep as well so that's why i like using the uh, toothbrush because it, it gets right in there okay that's the welts we'll now on move on to step three which is the application of cream polish right so now i'm moving on to the step where we're actually going to um, apply a shoe cream onto the boot. The shoe cream is a good product because not only has it got a, um, a, a shine agent, and also it also um, provides nutrients to the boot as well. It's also got pigment in there, which is the black color, which can help with any minor scuffs as well. So that's why I prefer using that than a wax polish, but we'll cover wax polishes next. So we're, at, we're this today we're using the, the Wapru Renovating Polish. There are other brands to use, um, if, if you um, have a preferred brand that you like, uh, please let me know which one you prefer. Um, this is a, an Australian company, so that's why I use that. The other uh, high-end polishes like the Saphirs, I haven't used, but I'd, I'd like to. They're just a bit expensive. Right, so small dab of shoe cream, and then we just use the cloth. I find the cloth is the best method of applying shoe cream. You can really actually get it in into the leather. and work it in. And you don't need a lot. Uh, in fact, if you have too much, um, it's actually detrimental because it doesn't actually go in and you're just, you're just certainly wasting, wasting your cream. So just work that into the leather, work it around and you'll do the, the, the whole boot in this manner. And once again, once you've finished, I always find it's a good idea to let it stand a uh, minimum of 10 minutes. Or, or the other period of time that you use is once you've finished the boot and you put it to the side, you move on and do your other boot, and you can come back and then buff off the cream. So what I'll go through now, and I'll do both boots. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like, and then uh, we'll buff it off and move on to the next step after that. Okay, so now we're going on with our buffing stage. Uh, for this stage, we're going to use our horse hair brush really soft bristles in and I find that's really good to bring out the shine and also then we're going to finish it off with our bit of um, stocking old bit of stocking so when we're on the buffing stage we're going to not only buff all of the uh, polish off the um, leather of the boot but also on the welts where we've placed that before so both of those areas so we'll go ahead and do that
Okay, so we'd then move around and do the whole of the boot. Okay, purpose of demonstration, we'll say we've finished that. And then we'll just use our stocking to just pay attention, especially to the toe area. And you can see just by using that, what a difference that makes. Really brings up the extra shine there. So you go ahead and do the stocking method for the rest of the boot as well. Another method of doing it is across the toe like so. And that's essentially all you need to do. You now have a set of polished boots. But what I'll do is I'll go on with an additional step. Um, so the left hand boot, I've just used the, the uh, Wopru polish, the polishing cream. That's all I've used on that one. What I'm going to do on the right one is I'm going to go ahead and apply a wax polish, and that's a solid polish. Uh, because it has wax in it, what it tends to do is give um, a higher shine, and it also the wax in it also beads off any water that may con come in contact. Okay, You're on with the additional step now, and that's the application and the buffing of a shoe wax polish. Um, in this instance, we're using the Angelus shoe wax polish it's a solid uh, I'm going to use a polishing cloth to apply it so application onto the cloth and then apply it onto the boot as well and it's just a simple matter of working this into the leather and utilizing this technique on the whole of the uh, upper leather um, for this step you can also use the brush to do that just by using the on side and by applying it on there. So you can do that. Okay and once we've worked that all in I'll just do that whole boot. I'll just use it on the right boot uh, and I'll just use the shoe cream on the left boot and then we can do a comparison on that. Right, so now we're going to buff off our wax polish that we've just applied once again using the horsehair brush and then to accentuate the shine by using the stocking. Right, so there we go. I'll just finish off the rest of the boot, then uh, I'll come back and I'll show you a comparison side to side between the, uh, the wax polish finish and also the cream finish. Right, back with our comparison now. So the right boot that we uh, finished off with the uh, shoe wax, you can see it's not, the, the shine's quite good. Uh, and I suppose if you, you wanted to uh, try and accentuate that even more, you could apply another coat and go over it again. And if you look over on the left boot that we just used with the renovating polish, that's a really good, really good buff, a really good finish. Um, so there's a the difference. That that there, that cream's much better for your shoe than what the wax is. Um, so I would use the leather conditioning and also the cream. And every now and again, if you want to do try the uh, wax polish, apply that on. But definitely don't use that in isolation. Uh, I definitely recommend using the conditioner and the cream uh, for the the best care of your boots. Um, also with the care of your boots as well, um, common faults, okay, taking the boots on and off. Uh, a lot of people put the, uh, the heel, when they're trying to take it off, put the toe on the heel. And that's just going to damage the, um, the boot that you're going to, and potentially um, cause some separation. So just take them off using the, uh, the tabs, and also just grab hold of the boot itself and, and pull it off your foot. So use the, the tabs or the tugs on the boot to put them on, the tugs being 
these parts here to place them on. Um, also, if you're, um, you know, you're, you're posted into or you live in um, areas of high humidity, uh, I, I would recommend using your leather conditioner uh, at least once a month to place on the boots to make sure they don't dry out. So you go through that regime. If if you're uh, you know in a temperate climate and it's rather cool, you know probably only have to use it probably every two months or six months just to keep up the um, the suppleness in the leather. Other things, um, if your boots are wet, uh, just by placing newspaper inside of them, that'll draw out some of the moisture. Don't ever use a hair dryer or put your uh, boots right up against a heater. Just going to um, really dry out the leather. It's no good for the boots. Um, I'll apply um. Uh, after on the uh, slides after this I'll put down a whole heap of um, shoe care um, methods as well so you go through and read them and uh, once again if you've got any comments or any additions that you'd like to put please please place it in the comments thanks for watching